for watching. I'm here on Santorini Island in Greece right now, and if you've been following along in the series I've been doing here in Greece, you'll know I've been kind of going back and forth between Santorini and Crete and some of the other Greek islands over the past few weeks to shoot some new work. I've shot some work here on Santorini. I think I've accomplished shooting the main photograph that I came here to shoot, so today I'm going to be heading to the island of Milos, which is the westernmost island in the Cyclades region. And I have some really cool ideas for some work to photograph there. There's pretty much no wind today, so it's a great day for me to spend the day traveling. It's about a little more than a two hour boat ride over to Milos from Santorini. So let's move on to Milos. <laughs> So it's the next day now and I made it here to Milos all right. I'm walking down to the village of Klima. I've got my kites and cameras with me. There's a strong north breeze today. Should make for good kite flying. The only thing I'm concerned about are these hills that are behind me. They're kind of tall so they might create some turbulence in the wind and rolling wavy wind uh, that might be difficult for kite flying at low levels. So I'm anticipating having to fly my kite really high in order to get to the steady wind. However, I'm not planning on photographing Klima from a very high altitude, maybe 75 to 150 feet into the air. Klima is a really pretty little fishing village. Um, it has these little boathouses right along the water that are painted these really cool colors. And the water here is a really great color and it's very clear. So I think it's going to make for a really awesome photograph. So let's get down there and check it out. My idea for this shot is to kind of do like a long, narrow photograph of the colorful boathouses with the beautiful water in front of it. But standing out here and looking at the scene, I think I might um, do a bit of a wider shot too, so that I can get some of the hills behind the village into the photograph as well. As I had imagined, the village here next to the beautiful water made for a great photograph. I love that you can even see one of the other villages up on top of the hill. Alright, I just finished uh, shooting Klima behind me here. As I was bringing the kite in, after I got the camera off the line thankfully, when the kite was pretty low to the ground, the, uh, this dog's been barking the whole time, he doesn't like kites I guess. As the kite was getting like lower and lower over the water, there's a lot of cross breeze here. And so unfortunately the kite took a dive into the water. Unfortunately for my video, I was not wearing the GoPro at the time, so I didn't get it on video, but I have it over here right now, drying out in the sun. And hopefully it's not damaged at all from having to pull it in from, I don't know, maybe 30 meters out. Anyway, never a dull moment. Um, I think I got the shot, which is what's really important. And the camera is safe, uh, thankfully. So I would say a fairly successful shoot. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me shoot today, seeing the, the difficulty that sometimes goes with that. So if you don't already, as always, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook and see all of my artwork on my website. Thanks for watching.